Hi everyone, welcome to another weekend vlog. I hope you've all been having a wonderful week and a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes that have been coming in this week. It's been so lovely to read them and I really appreciate everyone who's taken the time to wish me a happy birthday. You've made this week really special and I'm actually filming this on my birthday today. I thought I'd share some of the birthday fun with you. We're about to head off to Whitby because my request for my birthday is to have fish and chips in Whitby. Honestly, they have the best fish and chips. Whitby is this really lovely seaside town. Um, it's on the Yorkshire coast, but we don't often get there because it's quite a long drive from where we live. However, it's really charming. I first went to Whitby on holiday, years before we moved to Yorkshire, and I fell in love with it then, and I love to go back whenever possible. We first went to the Magpie Cafe, which is where we're going for fish and chips, last year, at my birthday actually, when my dad was visiting us in Yorkshire. We all went out for lunch and had fish and chips, and it was so good. Honestly, I've been thinking about those fish and chips for like a whole year afterwards. Uh, so we're gonna go and have fish and chips for lunch, explore Whitby a bit. There's a lovely bookshop, which I'm looking forward to going back to, and I'll take you along to that. And of course there's Whitby Abbey, which is an amazing literary landmark. It inspired scenes from Dracula by Bram Stoker. So it's a good place to visit the start of spooky season. But honestly, I find it more beautiful than spooky. Whitby Abbey is just gorgeous. And the views from it are amazing because it's up high above the town. So I'm going to take you along and try to film as much as possible. Unfortunately, it it is looking very windy and quite grey and gloomy outside. I'm hoping it brightens up and I'm really hoping it doesn't rain because <laughs> that makes filming easier. But we'll see and we're going to enjoy the day anyway. And then hopefully when we come back, I'll have time to show you some of the birthday presents that I got this morning, um, which was so lovely. My mum got me some amazing stationery. I can't wait to show you. So I'll show you that later when we get back this afternoon, if I can, because I have to go on for a Zoom call with family in the evening and it gets dark so much earlier now. But I'll show you either this afternoon or tomorrow, depending when we get back. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to the day. I can't wait for my fish and chips. <laughs> so we better get going. It's quite a long drive, but I'll bring you along. Actually, just before we go, I forgot to show you what I'm wearing because this is the dress that I got from Sea Salt and was saving for my birthday. So I love the pattern on this one and it reminds me a bit of coral i don't know somehow it just made me think a bit of the seaside and i thought it would be appropriate to wear to whitby um let me try stepping back a bit so you can see it but yes it's just a very simple cut um but i really liked the pattern it's very easy to wear i like this style of dress of theirs because it's um not just jersey when they do these sorts of dresses they tend to use different materials that have a bit more weight to them so yes I'm so pleased with this one like I said this was a birthday present to myself but I've been saving it for today so I'm sure you'll see it when I'm out and about in Whitby as well but I thought I'd just show you <laughs>
Oh, so we've just walked around Whitby Abbey and, and got blown away. <laughs> yes. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? <laughs> it it is. is. But you know you're on a headland with that wind. Yes, it's so yes. windy. Yeah. So mum's got a latte, I've got yeah. a hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having a little breather before driving back but it's been wonderful we hasn't are. it happy birthday darling <laughs> oh, girl you. yeah yeah we've had a lovely day it really has yeah, been yeah yeah whitby's really wonderful we always have fun when we come yeah, here and yeah. the sun came out it which certainly is has lovely. yeah not actually while we were walking around did you notice that <laughs> it was still looking a bit gray <laughs> yeah, but now it's we're really sunny now <laughs> yeah. it always happens like it does that. it does but we had a great time and yes, it was really Oh, it's been a really lovely birthday. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> so we're going to head home and maybe stop via Betty's well, on the way. It'd be nice if we could get you a birthday cake type <laughs> thing. Cause I didn't make anything, I must admit. <laughs> yeah, so maybe maybe we'll, we'll pick up yeah, some cakes or something. Yeah. So, yes, we're going to head off now. Um, I will show you what I got in the bookshop, but I'll show you later. Yeah. Um, either when we get home or tomorrow morning, because we did pick up a few things. As always. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, no, it's been such a lovely way to spend my birthday. I've oh, really enjoyed it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> it is you. a special place, actually, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It really is. I think it's very unique. Yeah. And I always love visiting the Abbey, especially. But the fish and chips were really good, too. <laughs> yes, we were here for the fish and chips, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, onwards and upwards. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So we're home. Yes. I've just poured some chapel down, English sparkling wine. Oh, the best time. <laughs> well, almost anyway. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely, lovely this anyway. Yes. So, oh, cheers. She's happy birthday, oh, darling thank girl. You. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Mm. <laughs> and. We did stop by Betty. Yes, we did. And got my favourite fondant fancies. So I think they look lovely. <laughs> well, it's a cheats thing, isn't it? I mean, your mother should have made you a cake. I think it was all the years we lived in France that we always bought cake for your birthday. Yes, and so well, I think we it just cake. feels more like a treat for both yes, of us. So we, true. Well, we don't have to bake. <laughs> and we do like Betty's fondant fancies. We do. Which mm. colour would you like? Gosh, I think I, I should go for the purple because it will suit yes. me. And orange would definitely go yes. with your dress. So, I don't Do mind. Do you want me to put that down? Yes, please. Thank you. Mm. I'll try a bit of the orange. It's so pretty. Mm. Yes. <laughs> they are very pretty. Yes. And I really need to I really like these. You're lucky because they had them left. I was a bit worried because I should have <laughs> gone yesterday and I didn't have time. Mmm. 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 Mm. They are perfect. Very birthday-ish. Yes, they? bubbles mm. and cake. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm very happy. Let's <laughs> pop that out. Yes. Thank you. Well, yes, because I thought I'd show you what we got in the Whitby bookshop. Yeah. <laughs> and some of Which was lovely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My presents from you, which were lovely. So, from the bookshop. <laughs> We yeah. actually got some matches. Safety long matches. Because yes. the number of times either you or I burn our fingers trying to light things is yes. really quite hard. And they're in such a pretty box. Yeah. So got those. Yeah. Um, because they had a nice little stationery yeah, section. Lovely didn't stationery they? section. They had little, well, lovely little things. They did. So we got a few cards as well. Yeah. Um this apparently folds out to be a concertina card. Like different puddings or something. Yes, I think yes, it sounds adorable. Visuals, and that looks like back. It's so Do you sweet. think it's Charlotte Russe or something? It looks a bit like it, doesn't yes, it? it yeah. does. Yeah. Um, and then I got some of these. <coughs> sorry. Yeah. Cake. Bit of cake crumb yeah. going down the wrong way. <laughs> um, these uh, jug sort of. What are they called? Bunting. Yes. Ornaments from Debbie George. Yeah. You can see on the back. I love the squirrel. That yes, it's so sweet, isn't it? Mm. For autumn. Mm. Um, and then I got this Angela Harding card, which I think is so pretty. Yeah, that's lovely. We missed that one earlier. Yes, we did. Yeah. So yeah, it was, was really nice, nice to, to see, see it. it. Yeah. And then, of course, I did get a few books. So yeah, you spotted these two. I did. 
I did. You can show them. Right, so this is Malcolm Savile's stories, which I don't know if we have any of these at all anymore, but we used to, but they were bargain yes. at two ninety nine. It's yes. the Master of Mary Knoll. Yeah, yeah, Master of Mary Knoll, Mary Knoll. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. sure. not sure, but yes, we got that one. And then this one is the Long Passage. I think we do yes. have that, but it's lovely to have it in a paperback. Yes, it rather is. Rather than a tatty um, old thing. And I this was, had. yeah, Evans. I didn't, Evans, yeah. yes, they did them originally. As yes. Far as I with this yes, one. so I was pleased... That you spotted those, yeah, yeah. very good spot. And then I spotted The Long Shadow by Senior Fremlin. You know how much I enjoyed mm. um, reading her book over the summer. And this has been just brought out by Faber as well in this lovely wintry edition. Isn't it lovely? I mean, Uncle Paul was perfect, wasn't it? With the Yes, Uncle Paul was the perfect like summer yes, read yes, and would. a great sort of domestic noir yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and this is similar but it's set at Christmas time so I'm excited gorgeous, to read this gorgeous gorgeous looking cover yes, on it. Yeah. yes and then we got a Whitby appropriate book yes Sylvia's Lovers by Elizabeth Gaskell yeah um, which is partly set in Whitby yes I think she's fictionalised Whitby for it so. yes yes um, yeah. and I think it's one I didn't have so yeah. I'm really pleased to have got this one that's lovely. So yes, that was what we picked up at the bookshop. It was a lovely little bookshop actually. Yeah, we really enjoyed having the browse yes, round. Yes, it was lovely it was to really browse. Nice. It was very busy, um, so I couldn't really get a lot on film, but I'd really recommend going. It's lovely. Although the whole experience did remind me why I don't like to film on Saturdays often. <laughs> Go places on Saturdays to film. Yeah, There's so many more so, people. Yeah, and it was very busy. And the it was. lady said to me, oh, we didn't think it'd be very busy today. The schools, you know, school summer holidays are over. Yeah. And it's not half term, but it was busy everywhere. It was very busy. Mm. Um, but I mean, it was lovely. Yes. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so. it, was out it, was, it wasn't raining. <laughs> yeah, for a change. <laughs> it wasn't cold. It was lovely. Um, so, and then uh, you got me some lovely sort of stationery related things. Yeah. So, Mum surprised me with two gorgeous notebooks from Stars Mead Book Binding, which you know how much I love Ursula's commonplace books, but I also love her little leather bound notebooks. And I really like this size. They're such a handy little size these ones absolutely and, and they're very sort of well what i hoped was they would look wintry the colors yeah, they're are very right, sort of autumnal going into yes. winter yeah they're so pretty so i was absolutely thrilled oh good with those good. thank you and, and I, I got lined because i know she really likes lines yes yeah. i do yeah and then ursula was really kind um because she sent me a little uh birthday card and i liked what she said inside um, because she said, I hope you all have a day off and enjoy some well-earned festivities and cake. Well, we're doing our best here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A little something for your stationery cupboard enclosed. And she said about the card, a young mother neglecting her infant while she is absorbed in Miranda's book of the month. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was really funny. That so, me with you, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What when your you're mum like... was always absorbed with the book, so that's for sure. <laughs> um, and she really kindly sent me these, which I haven't opened up yet. Um, so pretty. But they're really, I love the idea. They're for sticky notes. Isn't that lovely? And you little use sticky those note, all the this time, way, I guess. Little sticky note pad. Yes, I do use yes. these a lot. So. I just love them. So thank you very much, Ursula. And then you also got me a new um, pencil box from her as well. Yes. Which, um, again, has the gorgeous autumn kind of colours in the marble paper. So I was really, really, really thrilled with yes. that. And then a real surprise <laughs> um, was Mum got me some keepsake boxes. And I've been wanting boxes she has like been these. saying this rather like plaintively. Yes. <laughs> what I really like is beautiful boxes, she says. It's the wrong shoe boxes. Which and the, yes. <laughs> and um, they're just stunning, sort of lined inside with the contrasting paper. They're by Harrison Jones. And... They're just really beautiful, and you chose some lovely kind of 
gold and orange leaves. Again, I was thinking autumnal. Yes, yeah, perfect for an autumn baby. Yes. And I, I love this one. I thought you were going to say, well, I changed you well, Mum. <laughs> that's right, lots yeah. of seasonal thinking yeah, going right, on here. Right. <laughs> and then um, a kind of deep sized one as well. Yes. Which is just, it's so beautifully done. This is why I so badly wanted the one from Ursula as well. Yes, because I realised it would be the same, same paper. paper. Yes, that's really clever. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, sometimes well, I have a good well idea. Well done, Mum. <laughs> So it's absolutely but that's really deep. That will be fabulous. Yes, so what do you will. want to put in, in in them? Well, I want to put stationery like cards yes. and things like that in one, and then I think I'll put some of my vintage magazines. Oh, how lovely! I'll store them, um, probably yeah. in this one. Yeah, that would be yes. really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So um, I'll have a nice home for them. Yes, in they're that. very special. So it'd be nice to have them all in one place. And yes, protect. yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I do have a few vintage magazines that I love. That they're just so quaint. And then there was something that came this morning, and I didn't really have time to open it. So I thought I'd open it with yes. all of you. She doesn't know about this either. It's no, so it's quite difficult to surprise. think things can surprise you. I do try hard. <laughs> oh well, so we've done a really lovely job. Oh, Bird and Blend. I know what that is. Aww. I love Bird and Blend tea. Yeah. Have oh, a look, so see nice. if you like it. They always give you some freebies, which I, I love too. I think they're so clever. Cute little card. <laughs> oh yes, and some little tea bags, I think. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, dig around, shall I hold it for you? Let's get it now. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh, it's the it's their tea Halloween advent calendar, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, and you're going to have to open oh, the first amazing. seven or all oh, yeah, the days to catch up. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's called the Spooky Countdown Calendar. Do you dare open the doors of this tea-filled <laughs> house of mystery? Well, well my scary as we could. <laughs> we can get real. Yeah. Oh, oh it was so I love cute. that. It was such so a lovely cute. idea. And I mean, oh, you could let is. it go into November, but it just seems a bit of a pity. Um, no, I'm sure I can. Yes, I could try to manage so. to drink all the tea and I, catch I, up. I thought you would. We can, we can share them. So I, yes. should I open today? Yes, yes I'll open just today start so we can have a to look. To see, see what was on my birthday day. Um, ooh, ooh, pumpkin chai. Oh, wow. that's a good one. Isn't oh, that lovely? lovely. Yes. So I think they're all probably like that. We do buy um, bird and bird and blend tea, yes. and so we've got some lovely ones that are sort of toffee and pumpkinish and yes. stuff. But oh, smell that. Well, that's heaven. Mm, oh. That's like just so. Oh, just the smell of autumn. It really is. It's called their sticky chai. I can't wait to try that. That's perfect. Oh, I'm Aww. so glad. I'm Thank so you. glad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we it's have... been such a nice day, yes. hasn't it? It's <laughs> certainly been another little yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you were worth all Thank that. You. I think it was like, God, something like 32 hours. I know. She was worth it. the birth story. <laughs> Every um, year, and it started to snow apparently on the day I was born. No, it was like almost like I looked out and the flakes were falling. But I'm actually. This was in Canada, yeah. by the way. I'm glad we haven't sense. made a habit of this on the worst day. But you know, having sparkling wine is a nice habit. Yes. Tea, I'd rather, present. yeah, tea and cake. Yeah, over <laughs> snow, definitely. <Yes. laughs> anyway, we've got to go on for family Zoom yes. um, very shortly. Yes. So we better go. But thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thank you to everyone who made the run up to my birthday. It's so special with all of your birthday wishes, all of the super thanks on my last video, but just all of the kind comments and messages, I've really appreciated them. It's been lovely and I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of my birthday day. Um, I'll be back again soon, hopefully with an exciting announcement next. Mm -hmm.
week <laughs> next weekend let's yeah. hope <laughs> <laughs> working madly on it at the yeah. moment so we'll see <laughs> but yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very soon goodbye bye bye